What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4 in the last episode we found ourselves in this spooky, crazy, and yet another mineshaft abandoned to in another ravine. It's just, we get a repeat, don't we? <laughs> and we have a lot to adventure, a lot to discover. Seems like we're right at the edge of a ravine as well. So let's uh, place a little torch down. Okay then, so we can just sort of get a good idea of what our surroundings are, what dangers could be about around here. There's another chest over there. I feel like I should make it our big goal to get as many of these chests as, pos as possible, especially since there seems to be a good amount of goodies in them, which is always awesome. So I'm definitely scared though. Like I'm horrified at what could be behind any of these. So it's, it's ooh, you can hear the gurgles of a zombie too. Oh man, dangerous stuff. Completely dangerous stuff. Gotta make sure there's nothing like over my head too. So it's like, I wanna sort of like make a path, basically. Try to, just try to make a path so that I know where everything is, what could hurt me, what couldn't hurt me. Like, I don't wanna be knocked down there, that would be horrible, it'd be tragic. And I hear zombies, but I don't see zombies, which are the worst kind of zombies. Those zombies you just can't see, and this is zombies? No thank you. All right then, let's first get this iron. I know there's iron back there we also need to collect, so that's something I most definitely will be doing. I just wanna learn to get a good idea of my surroundings before we started being vulnerable by mining. Which is definitely something that we are by mining. It's, you know, we're focused on one thing and not what's behind us. And it feels like they're getting closer to me here, which is ever so spooky. Let's like, get our ax here. I'm glad we brought this. It makes it much, much easier to deal with all that. Alrighty then, let's get rid of that cobweb as well, which can be rather annoying. Okay then, pick all this up. <laughs> so far, so good. Nothing horrible has popped up yet, but <laughs> that doesn't mean it can't happen. Okay, then I, I, I'm eyeballing that chest over there. Let's get this stuff too. Ready? Pick it all on up. But yeah, this is crazy Minecraft adventure. We left our home and we went off and found a sand village. This has been our best adventure so far. And I can't wait to have more and more adventures as we keep on going on here. Let's put this in and that and that and that and this and that. Just so that we have a nice safe haven for all of our stuff just in case we do get lost or if we die, it's definitely good to have those back up. Alrighty then, let's get all this stuff too. Sooner or later, we're definitely gonna have to start making um, some place to um, you make use of our level, some type of uh, enchantment station, which is something I have never ever done in Minecraft. So that'll be cool to do as well. It'll be cool to experiment with, because I know levels sort of work interestingly. But we're level 23, about to turn to level 24. Dun 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 dun, oh no, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, so I wanna turn to level 24 there and make a little noise about it. It looks like there's more lava down there. To be honest, I don't want to mess with it. Now, apparently, I've I've heard some people say that there's a possibility, a higher possibility of finding diamonds near lava, but I've also heard people say that that's completely untrue, that it's just that lavas and diamonds happen to spawn like more and more as you go down, but they're not like supposed to spawn more just because they're next to each other. There we go, level 24 now. <laughs> Rejoice, that's almost level a million. Maybe one day we can turn to level a million and become Minecraft pros and go into the Minecraft MLG scene. But not today. Today we're just getting some coal. Alrighty, let's mine all this down. There we go. I think that's all. <laughs> that was quite a lot. There we go. We get it all. Awesome. And what's over here? So it looks like more to traverse, of course. But oh man, it's it's nerve wracking because it's just like. There's so much to go wrong. Alrighty then, let's uh start making a bit of bridge. Just so that I'm on the safe side. There we go, excellent, excellent. Hmm. Cause I keep hearing zombies, but I don't see zombies and I really don't like that. Let's build sort of like a little bit of like a, a ridge to it all. That way, if we do get hit by an arrow, we're not falling to our deaths or anything. We are safely just getting knocked back, which is much, much better. Because we don't want to fall off and land in like another, like another enemy, or even worse, just land to our deaths or into lava. That would be horrible. So let's try not to do that. Let's. Oh, I see some zombies down there too. Okay, hi down there. You stink. <laughs> okay then. Okay, come on. Ooh. We're at least putting this, this, all the stone that we're getting to good use. Now, where is that chest at? I saw it from, I think it was over here. And I was like, ooh, I want that chest. So if we can find that chest, that'd be excellent. Hmm, let's look around a good bit. So we were over here, sort of, kind of. And then we won over here, and then I was like, ooh, look, a chest, but where's that chest now? Where did the, did the zombie steal it? 
Am I, were you talking about stolen goods here? I might have to contact the police. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure we'll find it sooner or later. Let's just keep on making things nice and safe for us to traverse. Maybe just by doing a bit of this. There we go. Now we have a nice little area to walk by. And there's more down there too. So there's like different levels of it, which is concerning to say the least, because that means it could be confusing. There it is. Hey buddy, I see you down there. Hopefully you have nice things for us. Oh man, this is large. This is very large. Okay then, For in the meantime, in the meantime, since I don't trust these guys, I wanna do a bit of this. That way we can still peek on through, but no, nobody can go in, nobody can get out, all that kind of stuff, so hopefully no spooky people coming in from there. Hmm. Okay, I'm, st I'm still very nervous. I feel like I'm like uh, tightrope walking or something like that. There we go. All right, so we need to find out what's down here, and hopefully it's not anything too menacing. Ready? Ah, oh man, that that stretches off for a while too, which is sort of just eerie. It's really eerie. Let's place down more torches. And I'm gonna make sure nothing's over my head. That's like a big fear of mine. Something that's gonna plop my head, be like, hello. <laughs> and then I'll just be so sad and upset. But it looks like we have a torch over here, which is weird. We definitely haven't been that as spooky. The torch of an unknown man. <laughs> man, that's sort of really spooky because we definitely haven't been there before. That's a dead end. Where did that torch come from? Either way, we have some more important things to talk about, like what's in this chest. Okay, so actually not that great of stuff. We have some bread, which will help us for our hunger. But besides that, nothing that's really getting me excited. No diamonds, no, uh, I, I mean, there were some iron bricks in there, which is cool, that's cool, but nothing like, whoa, that's so awesome. That rare piece of material we've been looking at 50 million years for. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh man, this couldn't have gone worse. This couldn't have gone worse. This couldn't have gone worse. You get out of here, sir. Oh man, no, get out of here. This couldn't have gone any worse. This couldn't have gone any worse. No. All right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, we need to hide for a little bit. Let's take a minute to breathe. Oh man, that wasn't good at all. That wasn't good at all, come on now. This is the way we want, this is the dead end with the mysterious torch. And this way, it was a bunch of creepy crawlies staring us down and one exploded on me. Oh man, let's hope that's not bad tidings to what's to come. Because there's definitely a lot more to adventure and a lot more to deep downwards to, or delve downwards to. Maybe I could dig this way and just sort of get more cobblestone first thing. Okay, so looks like I found a little more. Lava, and I don't know. Hmm, there's gold over here. Well, I feel like that's like one of the last of my worries. All right, now that I have a little bit of extra cobblestone, I wanna build my way back up here. So let's do a bit of that. No, not like that. Let's get this back. Is there more over there? It looks like I see some slight movement by something. Ooh, and there was a skeleton. See him, he's, man, he was rushing fast. Maybe he was late to his work or something. Maybe he was late to an appointment. He's like, oh gosh, I forgot I have work at five, no. All right, we gotta get rid of this. Cause we got stuck in this last time. And that's what really got us exploded, which was a pain in the butt. But hey, now we're up here. I'm going to uh, jump over here. Ooh, that was quite the jump. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe we should make a new pickaxe. Do we, we don't have a pickaxe, like this is our one of our last pickaxes, if not the last pickaxe. So let's figure out what we can do here. All right, so one thing we definitely need to do is make a new pickaxe. So we're gonna use our wood around here, which is actually gonna be quite helpful. And we're going to, um, well, we actually need quite a bit of wood then, don't we? Because we need to make, first off, a crafting bench. So that's gonna be a little difficult, isn't it? to find all the materials we need for that. Now I'm stuck down here, so let me, <laughs> there we go. And we'll just start getting on the grind on this. We do need quite a few of them, so there we go. Luckily, they are really all over the place here. It's just a matter of finding each and every one, and this really is bothering me. Get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this should be enough. Let's go back on over, press our square button, make a crafting bench, and then put this on over here. By going like that, and then we can make a few sticks, go over here, and we need that iron back. So we have 10 whole iron, which can be used 
to our advantage here to make more iron pickaxes. Awesome. And while we're over here, do we have enough stone? Yes, we do, to make a furnace, because we want to cook up this meat as well. We're going to have a whole base of operations down here, which is going to be great. So where is that stinking thing? Hmm, is it in here? Yes, it is. Okay. So let's get this, plump it on down here, and then here we go. So we also got to remember that we were up here. This is where we started from, is way up there. So while we're, while we're getting this stuff figured out, let's uh, cook some more meat, because we do have some, just like that. Then get it in here and doot, and then doot, doot, doot. There we go, that should work. I'll put one more in, just for good measure. Pick all this back up, didn't mean to drop that. And then, finally, let's make some more torches. So we need to use the rest of the wood we have. Oh, we don't have any more left. All right, so how much, hmm, how many sticks do we have? We have eight sticks. So, I mean, we do have more torches, but I feel like we should still make more, just for safety reasons. Okie dokie, so we are sort of a little more stocked up now. We could use a little more meat. So, how, oh, it's already done, that was hasty, good job. Okay then, so now we really are stocked up. I feel like our best bet now is to uh, start digging this stuff up first of all, because we do need a bunch of this, don't we? So let's dig this up a good bit. Get all this. Thank you, game, I needed it. Uh-oh, no, let's use our trusty spoon. We haven't used this guy in a while, but now we can. Okay then, we got all that. I feel like we're good to go. We are good to continue adventuring. I think that, Right now, it feels really dangerous to adventure all of this. To adventure every ounce of the cave, it just seems like there's too many areas where I'm vulnerable and able to be attacked. But this is definitely gonna be like our median. If we need more resources, if we need to explore a little bit more and something like this, we definitely will, we'll come back here. But I feel like now we have to continue digging downwards because I really wanna go to that, what is it, floor 12? 30 now, right? We're at 30 now. I want to go to 12 and find more diamonds. I want to find, like, the mother load of diamonds, the heap of them. Hundreds, thousands, millions. <laughs> but let's go. And I think we'll start by going this way. Just, as, just at first, maybe. But we definitely have all the torches. We have two pickaxes, two brand new pickaxes that we can use. So I think that will be good for quite some time starting now. And I'm excited. Let's just keep digging downwards. And I know, like I said the last episode, I like to keep this digging section in just because it's really, really crucial right now because this is, you know, this is some, you know, very important stuff we're doing, very important things we need to go get. So I feel like it's important to keep it up. Let's keep on digging down. But yeah, I hope you guys have been having a fantastic new year. It is now 2015, and that is just pure awesomeness. Because it's just like, I can't wait for 2015 to be an awesome year. I'm really thinking that it's going to be. I had high hopes for 2014, and it became the best year of my life, personally. And best year we've had on YouTube, the best year I've just progressed as a person. So I'm excited to see what happens in 2015, especially since I have the ethic and idea of hard work. I believe that if you work hard, you can make anything possible. So it's just like, I'm willing to work as hard as I can to make 2015 better than 2014. So hopefully it works out for me, and it works out for you too. But just happy new year to all of you. You're all awesome and fantastic. Okay then, let's, uh, we found some iron here. Just just one piece, but oh my. We found something else too. Maybe a little pond, just a little halfway mark of some sort. But maybe it could just be a whole cavern of enemies. Let's jump over here. Ooh, got that parkour level stuff going on. And what is going on down here? I'm a little nervous to be dropping down like I am, but I'm gonna do it because I'm crazy. I'm the striped mammal and there doesn't seem to be any enemies around, which can be a good thing because now we can sort of dig all this up in peace. So why don't we get to that? Uh, dig you up, and you, and you, and you, and you, and don't forget you. <laughs> I'd never forget him. Whoa, did you hear that? That sounded like the making of lava, which is because there is something over here, more open paths. Okay, let's place that there so we're not being pushed into what looks to be more lava, more dangerous stuff. So, <laughs> it's like, Okay, I need to be so careful here though. I need to remember not to get stuck, not to get lost, all that kind of scary stuff. So I think the most important thing to do is plug some of this water up. Get rid of as much water as possible just because I don't want to be stuck down here and be covered in water and not how to, no, know how to get back up. Keeping track of where we've been and where we haven't been is super duper important. So let's do that, we have a little bit of a platform now. Excellent. 
<laughs> We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. Believe it or not, there is redstone over here as well. Hmm. Okay, then. Do 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 do. And then over here as well. Do 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 do. And then do do. <laughs> awesome. So, like I said, let's make a little bit of a path so that we don't, you know, miss out on everything that's up here. Just, you know, by doing this and this. And then digging above this so that we know. <laughs> I got it all planned out in this head of mine, this zebra noggin. There we go. Dig on this, dig on this. Excellent. So, what cool things are you guys planning on doing to make 2015 the best year ever? I really do. Think and I appreciate the ideas of you know working hard every day to actually make your dreams and your goals happen. So I'd want to hear what you guys plan on doing differently this year to make it better than last year. Personally, like I said, I'm gonna work harder than ever at my YouTube videos and just you know improve the commentary and the organization and you know everything like that when it comes to YouTube videos. That'll be fun. It'll be fun. All right, let's place this down. We're making a lot of progress. I'd say we, we keep on making our way more and more down. Let's go, like, what else do we have? We have some iron over here. Like, we're spending a lot of time in this, this like, little water area. It has a lot to give us. We got tons of iron at this point, so we're gonna be able to make tons and tons of stuff. Probably make a full body of iron armor at this point, just because, you know, it's a good idea to have that from time to time. I know I, I, I like to chill with my beautiful iron pants here. Hold on, hold on, I gotta get this too. Okay, got it all now. Whoa, we're falling deep there, okay. Here, let's uh, plug it up. I'm tired of this. Okay, good. And then, get on out of here. <laughs> Water can be really annoying at times, it's weird. There we go, excellent. We are running a little low on food sooner or later, so we do wanna get that as well. But there we go, I think we're getting just about everything you can get in here, which is a good thing. Okay, now we can go this way. And this is where it gets scary. I don't know what's over here, but there's lava. And that's always spooky, oh man. I think that we do already have some obsidian placed over here, so maybe it would be a good idea to just sort of, I like this place up first of all. And there's redstone everywhere. Okay, then. Um, plug it up, plug it up, plug it up. Don't push me into the lava though, that's so intense. Oh no, okay. And then, boop, ha <laughs> Awesome, and obsidian, obsidian everywhere. First I was like, is it obsidian? I forget. Eventually when we get enough diamonds, we can make an excellent nether portal. I am horrified of the nether, so that's gonna be an interesting adventure. That's for another day though. Make sure to stay tuned to the series if you wanna see some of that though. Okay then, hmm. More redstone. This stuff is important because we haven't gotten it yet. It can make some pretty interesting stuff. I've never learned how to use redstone, so maybe I can learn a little bit about it in this series, who knows? Alrighty. I feel like we'll continue digging down just for a little bit longer until we head off. It's been a fun little adventure this episode, finding a bunch of really, really cool stuff, doing a lot of really, really cool things, and setting ourselves up really for the long run here. If we keep on finding really cool resources, we're gonna have tons of diamonds for us for, uh, throughout the future. But where are we right now? We have to be getting, actually we're at eight, which means we're a little bit lower than what we're supposed to be. Huh. Maybe we should stick with this level and dig outwards. Either way, I'll figure it out in the next episode. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family because your support truly does help. And comment in the comment section below what do you think about what we've done in this episode, the cavernous mine shafts, or just continuing digging down and finding redstone, or I, th I forget what it's called, but I think that's it, redstone. <laughs> Either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.